All right, so we got some massive Dragon Quest news this morning. The uh, executive producer of the Dragon Quest series for the last while is stepping down. If you want to look this up yourself, the full article is on Bloomberg, which is always a fairly reliable business news website. And sometimes they report on the business of gaming. So, yeah, check that out. I believe for Bloomberg, you do need a subscription. But Gamatsu.com has done a uh, article on the Bloomberg post, so let's take a look here. Longtime Dragon Quest series executive producer Yu Miyake will step down from overseeing Dragon Quest games to head up Square Enix's smartphone games, according to Bloomberg Report, citing people familiar with the matter. The move reportedly comes following delays in developing the next installment of the series. So. Anyone who's uh, been a Dragon Quest fan even since Dragon Quest XI, which is like the latest mainline entry in the series, has uh, been experiencing this. It's taken way too long since the announcement of Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake as well as Dragon Quest XII for us to get any new information, really. Like, we did get some info on, on Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake, but it wasn't like an official announcement. It was just Yuji Hori posting on Twitter that he's been up all night enjoying playtesting the game. So I think it's a lot further along than we think. I think it is like in the finalizing stages of being completed. But the fact that there's no marketing or anything in terms of advertising or even just news keeping us up to date on the progress or the process of the uh, development is absolutely frustrating and disappointing as a fan. Same goes for Dragon Quest XII where we've literally only gotten a title and that is it. So I think this is probably for the best. Not to discredit you, Miyake. He's done a lot of great things for the series, as we'll see here. Miyake, who joined Enix in 1990, has been credited as the executive producer on the Dragon Quest series since the release of Dragon Quest Monsters Joker in 2006. I was never, like, a huge fan of Dragon Quest Monsters Joker, but it was part of, like, that whole Dragon Quest boom on the DS back in, like, the, the mid-2000s. Uh, he was first credited in a Dragon Quest game as production staff on Dragon Quest V Hand of the Heavenly Bride in 1992. So, I mean, that's way back on the Super Famicom was the first game that he was credited as a part of the production team. So he's he's been a part of the series for a very, very long time. I think the executive producer role might not be the best fit for him anymore. In 2004, he was the chief producer on the Dragon Quest V uh, Hand of the Heavenly Bride remake for the PlayStation 2, as well as one of the chief producers on Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. So he was definitely part of that big DS boom era and the, uh, the Dragon Quest VIII era. According to Bloomberg, Miyake's move to smartphone games is part of a large-scale reorganization that took effect on April 1st, which will see Square Enix overhaul its game development pipeline to help the company rely less on external resources and focus more on in-house AAA titles. A big part of that was when they were like, cutting Eidos, they were cutting Taito, like they had maybe not big name but medium name game development companies and were making games for those and they, they weren't, I don't know what exactly went wrong there because if you look back at a lot of those games, they were fantastic games and I think honestly Square Enix once again just failed to market them properly. You look at like Deus Ex Human Revolution and stuff like that, those games were fantastic but like nobody was playing them because they were just not properly marketed. I know the production team probably doesn't have a whole lot to do with that, but the production team, especially the executive producer, is the guy that's in charge of making everything work together, making all the different divisions come together to make sure that the game is a finished product. He's kind of got the final call. If Square Enix wants to be King of the Castle again, like they were in the late 90s, early 2000s, they really do need to focus more on their AAA titles. It's good that they're going to be doing a lot more in-house, and I really hope that this next executive producer kind of takes control and puts Dragon Quest first and is able to make sure that 
we're getting these games released in a timely manner while still being at the level of quality we expect from a mainline Dragon Quest game. They do have speculation as to who is going to be taking over this role, and I think it's an excellent choice given their track record. Yosuke Saito, best known for his role as producer of the Nier series, is a strong candidate to take over Miyake's role, people told Bloomberg. Saito was previously a producer on Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of Elusive Age, as well as Dragon Quest Online from versions 1 to 4.2. He's got a fantastic track record when it comes to Dragon Quest already. I mean, look at how successful Dragon Quest XI was. Just came out of nowhere after a huge drought since Dragon Quest IX and absolutely blew up to be its best-selling game in the series and honestly my favorite game of all time. Dragon Quest Online has been fantastic. I've played all of version 1. We're balls deep into version 2 right now and it's been fantastic. So obviously he knows how to get stuff done. It's crazy that he brought Nier to the forefront because Dragon Guard was such a not thought about series for such a long time and then Nier came out and at first was also kind of in the same boat as Drakengard but later on you saw Nier really take the forefront when it comes to action RPGs so Yosuke Saito has done some great work and I really hope he's the guy that gets the job because just from his track record alone this could be some massively good news for the future of the franchise and the franchise needs this it really needs Good, some good news right now because we've had some bad news with the loss of Akira Toriyama, um, the loss of Koichi Sugiyama, the fact that these games have been in potentially development hell for what seems like four years now. We need some good news and this is this is it I think. So hopefully this is the guy that gets the job. If not, hopefully somebody as capable as uh, Saito is uh, put in the position and Dragon Quest is put on the path of success yet again. I definitely don't want to crap on Miyake. I, I do want to thank him for his service to the, uh, the Dragon Quest franchise. He's done a lot of great stuff, but I do think it's time to move on to a better person for the executive producer position. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. This video is just kind of off the cuff here because the news just got broke early this morning. This video probably won't go up until like a day or two after uh, the news has been broke. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy my content or any Dragon Quest content really, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. Check out my Dragon Quest vs. Final Fantasy video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.